Hi, welcome back. Video number five. So, how is it going for you? Did you check out the Seriously Joyous Intention Setting ebook? Is it something you want to commit to now? Maybe it's not. It's a lot of writing. Maybe you'd like to learn a little bit more before you commit to something that intense. It's okay. Keep it. You may use it. Or maybe you are ready to dive into it. That's fabulous. I'd like to offer you a little bit more. And again, I want to invite you to join me every month for a video clip. I'll be sure to send it to you on this email list unless you unsubscribe, which you can do at any time. And then I'll offer you a way to go into a little deeper teachings. So let's go back to what we were talking about in the beginning. Be the boss of you. So why would that be empowering for you, especially in this new year? It is time to step out of survival mode and struggle and step fully, powerfully into thriving. And how do you do that? It's when you decide to live your life on purpose with purpose. That can be a very tricky path. Have you ever felt like you get a lot of information and yet you just don't know how to organize it into a step-by-step -step process so that you will be guaranteed results? That's what I want to offer you. I've been working with many people for, for quite a few years now and there are foundational pieces that make a huge difference. Some of them I've shared with you. And it's funny, the information is very simple. And yet that doesn't mean it's easy to integrate and to actually use. So you have to learn. You have to hear the same truth many times, often from many teachers, to actually integrate it. You have to address the five bodies. You have to make sure that you're not just taking it in mentally, but that you actually land it in all the bodies. That you choose physical right action to align with new teachings or with things that you know but you haven't integrated yet. So it is a process, it is a journey, and I want to support you on that. Being the boss of you, that would mean that you never feel like that child screaming, you're not the boss of me. You would never feel small and powerless again. You would get to know yourself. You would get to love and accept yourself with whatever your strengths and your weaknesses are. It's really only a journey of exploration of yourself, who you are what you desire. And think about desire. We only as humans ever want that which we think will make us feel good. It's the bottom line. You only want things that you think you'll feel better in the having of them. Well, living your entire life from the perception that your life is your most important business and that you're the one choosing to be the boss of your life, to be the boss of you, means that you're empowered, you're not victimized, you don't feel powerless, that you always know there's a choice. That's true, you don't control all circumstance, but you can learn foundational skills so that no matter what's gonna happen around you, to you, in life, you know how you're gonna show up. It's a reassuring place to, know, to be. And clarity, clarity on who you are and what you want and what you wanna create Oh, it frees up so much energy. It makes everything easier. So I invite you to journey forward with me. Now for today, let's talk about success. How would you define success? What does success mean to you? Now, of course, it's going to mean different things in different areas. In a business, success is usually measured by the P&L statement, the profit and loss. So, or maybe success is measured by how something grows or what it contributes. There's different ways to measure success for different areas. But if you ever really thought and gotten clear, do I feel like my life is successful? Am I successful in my life experience? Have you ever stopped and considered? Do you feel like you're on track for you? Or do you wonder if you are? Interesting thought, isn't it? And success is very, is very interesting in that as we spoke, it can be different for different areas. Sometimes we forget. And you may, you think of someone who's created great wealth through a business. Oh, and it's wonderful. They provided income for many families through salaries and employees. Fabulous wealth. But is success only that? How's their health? How's their family? How are their relationships with others? So I'm inviting you to get a really big picture of success. And it all comes down to, you need a really good boss running the show. You 
can't actually feel like the boss of you if you don't know how to manage your thoughts. How often will your thoughts just run away? What's the worst thing ever when they loop, right? So there are steps that you can powerfully become the boss of your life, of your experience, and be the kind of boss that creates success, not just in one area, but in all areas, relationships, financial, health-wise. Now again, you can't control all circumstances, but you can learn how to be in control of who you are in all circumstances. It's a very nice place to be. So I invite you to consider that there are certain foundational pieces and I'll be again inviting you to, to explore them each month with me. So this month, uh, some of you are not going to actually want to do the intention setting yet. It's a big commitment. You have to be consistent for 30 days in a row. So I'm going to give you a little something else to play with. It's such a unique time that we get to be alive here on Earth. Look at what our technology is creating for us. Suddenly, information is available like that all over the world. People can't really hide. The truth is coming out in ways that it's never been available to the masses before. It's very exciting. It's very different. It can be challenging, but it's also a great opportunity. Like no other time in the world has it ever been so important to have integrity with yourself. It's very important. You'll see it happening all around us. Because of the internet, more and more truths are becoming common, common knowledge. People can't hide and lie the way they used to. Old institutions, old ways of doing things are breaking down, and new ways are developing. It truly is about being the change you want to see in the world first in your own life, in your own experience, with yourself. So one of the most important things you can develop is a personal integrity. What does that mean? Well, if you're not going to follow through, don't speak it. If you say you're going to do something, follow through. Show up on time. Actually follow up on the things that you committed to. It's not an easy task, and yet it's one of the areas that without it, spiritual growth, personal growth is very, very slow. It's so important to have integrity today. So really think about this. What if for just the next week, you pay attention, really pay attention. Are you following through on everything you're committing to? Do you have the personal integrity to say, no, I don't have time to fit that in, or thank you for asking me, but I'm not choosing to do that right now. That's great personal integrity. Saying no is sometimes actually saying yes to your personal agenda, to your personal desires, to your business, your life. So it can go either way. And when you're showing up, are you really fully the present? A high level integrity means that you don't just say you're going to do something and then grudgingly do it. You're, you're going to show up with the same heart of, as when you committed. And this takes a lot of work to actually think before you speak, to actually be in alignment. You need clarity. Who do you want to be in this world? How do you want others to perceive you? Now, if you're really nervy and in a hurry, simply ask some people that you trust that are very close to you. Ask them, what is it you speak most about? And what are the traits that they admire in you and respect in you? And see if honesty is on the list. It's really insightful if you have people you can trust to ask that. But you can also play by yourself. Really think about it. See what you're saying in a day, what you're committing to who, how many things you remember to follow up on, or how many things you just kind of blow off? How often are you keeping the word to yourself? How often do you say you're going to eat better, but then you don't? These are all things that really affect your ability to grow rapidly into success. And going back to our analogy of a boss, wouldn't we want a boss with great integrity? A boss who could say, oh, I was wrong. I can't follow through on that because this happened, but it matters to me that I made that commitment. That's the kind of integrity level we want. For anybody as a boss, really think about this. So if you're going to be the boss of you, this would be a very important piece. Where can you see that you're holding integrity? Most of all, 
keeping your word with yourself. And look, how are people hearing you? How are you coming across? Are you somebody who has integrity with the way you speak in alignment with your desires? Are you seeking to feel empowered and courageous and yet speaking, talking, thinking, acting out of alignment with that? That's a lack of integrity with your physical being with what you desire mentally and spiritually. So there's many ways. So what if you just took one week, one week to explore integrity with yourself and see how you're doing? How would you scale yourself? Do you always follow through? Do you keep your commitments? Do you say no powerfully and kindly? Are you clear? Again, clarity comes back in. It's hard to have great integrity if you're not really clear what it is you want to accomplish in each interaction with yourself and with somebody else. It's a very important skill to learn how to set yourself up for success. It's one of the ways to get there quicker. Set yourself up for success. So there are many areas to explore here. So what about me? How do I define success? Well, I came from a life that was actually, I was very unconscious. And once I had somebody ask me, what was the most painful experience in your life? And for me, the most painful was not knowing I had a spiritual connection and not knowing how I could fulfill my calling to contribute to others in a tangible way. It was really painful. And I'm talking 30 years, <laughs> a long time. So success to me is knowing with clarity who I want to be with my family, with my husband, with my children, with my friends, with my colleagues, with myself, with my creator. Who I want to be, how I show up, and living not only into that, but living it with such presence and consciousness that I naturally expand in all those areas. So here I am, talking to a camera. Not my favorite thing yet. I really prefer interaction with other people. And yet I'm ready to go to the next level. So integrity with my intention of how to live my life means that my next level is seeing how I can deliver information and support how I can be a catalyst for positive growth, how I can fast track success for others through many different means, many different price points to reach people where they are and where they are ready to receive. It's not about you just finding me at my leisure and in my comfort zone. It's about me making what I've learned available to many people. So you see how integrity can even go a little bit further. So that's what success means to me having integrity in every area of my life and knowing how I'm going to show up and what that means even in expanding. The thing about success is it never stays at one level. It always expands. Again, if you have the foundational steps, that's a much easier journey to enjoy. So see how you do for a week. Play with integrity. Where do you notice it? Do you admire that in people that, that you find you do admire? Do they have high levels of integrity? What does that mean to you? Why do you believe that they do have integrity? Really play with this idea and see how you do. And then I invite you again, I'll send you another email and it'll be a video. Give you another clip next month and then I'll take you even further if you'd like to subscribe. And I'm going to offer it to you in a few different ways. Now, some people like video, can sit at their computer and watch it. That's great. Some of us prefer audio. I love to learn while I'm driving in the car. The ultimate multitasker, yes, I really am. <laughs> so I prefer an MP3. I can put it in the car and study, learn, re-listen over and over and over as I go. I also like to read. So I'm going to make available to you video, audio, something in some kind of written form that you can recap. Also going to give you a type of worksheet if that actually ties into the month's lesson so that you have something tangible to work on. Each step will lead you into a better relationship with you, into being a better boss of your life, of living purposefully, of knowing what you want and knowing that you're headed in the direction to get it. So I'm very excited to offer you this series. I've now seen success with many students. I now have a confidence that I can deliver. I'm not sure about in video, I guess you're gonna let me know, but I do know the steps work. I do know that one-on-one -on -one and in a group, this has made a profound difference for many people. 
uh, there'll be some testimonies you can read about from different people. Maybe we'll get some on film. I'll see what I can do about that. So I thank you for your time with me. I hope you enjoy your gift. I hope you enjoy the gift of this series that will continue for the next 11 months. And I invite you to live powerfully into the greatest successful you that's possible and to enjoy your journey as you go there. So more information will be coming to you. Kind of learning as I go, working it all out, totally new arena for me. I'm very excited about it though, because again, as you create success for yourself, it does multiply. It supports others in living into their greatest selves too. It's an exciting time to be alive. I thank you for your time. I thank you for allowing me to share with you things that I've learned and experienced. I'll see you again in a few weeks.